Many of the half million DTE customers currently without power won't see it come back on for a few more days. And now temps, of course, as Kim mentioned, headed for single digits, which could spell major trouble for your pipes in your home. Jacqueline Francis went to an expert for some advice on avoiding that trouble. If you're someone who lost their power during the ice storm and you go to turn on your faucet and nothing comes out, it could be a problem hidden in your pipes. People are calling me left and right. Plumber Todd Wall is a popular guy this time of year. They keep telling me, what should I do? I don't want it to freeze. So His answer is simple. So I tell him just to let the water run. That's all they can really do right now. Just let it drip, the hot and the cold side, for all the faucets, even if it makes the water bill higher to prevent it from freezing and splitting and making damage. The same goes for your shower. Keep it running until the power and the heat kick back on. It doesn't have to be pouring out of there, just like a fast drip or even like a small pour like that. Otherwise, you may be out of luck. If it stays froze for too long, it'll expand the pipe and, and they'll burst. And then when it starts to thaw out, water starts pouring everywhere. It doesn't take a lot for your pipes to freeze. Just a day or two with no power and temps dipping below 32 degrees. This is it. Todd says if you catch it early enough, there is a tool to save your frozen pipes from bursting. It's called a hot shot 400. It'll send electricity through it and it thaws it out for them. And if we catch it early enough, we can save the pipes. Back here live, we're in Gross Point, where this side of the street, the lights just turned down within the last two hours. This side of the street, no luck. Lights still out also, the traffic lights out as well here at the intersection. Two more quick things before we go. One, I'm told not to insulate your pipes. It'll actually make them freeze faster, acting like a koozie. And two, there's no need for you to drain the water from your pipes. That's more for long-term situations, like if you're going to be winterizing your home. Reporting live, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Great, great advice. All right, Jacqueline.